Okay, let's see how to apply a fill and a stroke to Illustrator. Okay, I've drawn a box here. It has a yellow fill and a blue stroke. The default fill and stroke for Illustrator is a white fill and a black stroke. And you can get back to that by clicking this little icon on the toolbox here. So if I click this while the box is selected, it's going to revert back to a white fill and a black stroke. Let me undo that by hitting Control Z. Another way to get back to that is to just to hit the D key on your keyboard. So think of uh, D as the default fill and stroke. So there we go. We went back to a white fill and a black stroke. Okay, let me undo that again. So I have my yellow fill and a blue stroke. So let's see how we can apply other colors here. Well, with CS2 and on, we have a control panel up here, where if I click on this, this box here is going to adjust the fill. So I can click on the box here, and I can pick a color from my swatches. Uh, so let's make it orange. And this one here is going to change the stroke. So I can click right on the icon here, and let's change the stroke to uh, green. Okay, there we go. Another way to do it is right from your swatches panel by just clicking on a color. Well, first we have to select the object, but we have to look at this icon here. This also appears in the color panel and also on your toolbox. So when this filled box is in the front, this is going to control your fill. So if I were to select the color from my swatches, it's going to change the fill color. If I want to change the stroke color, I have to bring the stroke image to the front. So if I click right on this icon here, the stroke comes to the front. And this also happens in the color panel. So if I were to click a color in my swatches now, it's going to change the stroke color. We can also flip these with the keyboard. If I hit my X key, now it brought the stroke to the front. I mean the fill to the front. If I hit it again, it brings the stroke to the front. Now this little double arrow here, this is going to flip the colors. So now I have a yellow fill and a red stroke. If I click this arrow, it's going to become a red fill with a yellow stroke. And you can also get at that through your keyboard by hitting instead of just X I'm gonna hit shift X and that flips the colors all right another way to change the stroke in the fill is if I go to my color panel here and again if I want to change the fill I must make sure the fill box is in the front and the easiest way to do it is I could bring my cursor over this ramp this is called a ramp I can click on a color here and it's going to change and then I can make some adjustments by moving these sliders for the CMYK. You can also use RGB so if I go to this little drop down menu here I can switch this to RGB and mix my colors. A gray scale is just going to be some shade of black. I have a HSB, so you probably won't use this, but just to show you, this stands for U, Saturation, and Brightness. So that's not really too commonly used. Let's go back to CMYK. And these little boxes here, this is just white, black. And anytime you see a box with this red slash, this means none. So if I click on this, the fill of this box is not white, it's none. That means it's it's empty. If there was something behind it, we'll be able to see right through it. Now, another way to flip through these uh, series, uh, let's give it a fill first, is instead of using this drop-down menu, I can just bring my cursor over the ramp, hold down the Shift key, and click, and you can see it cycles through the different uh, color models here. Uh, one other way we can do this is on your uh, toolbox. If I double click on this icon here, this fill icon, 
it's going to bring up the color picker. So this is another way to choose a color. So I can move this slider up and down, and then I can just click inside this box. So here's a dark green, here's a lighter green. So that's another way. And then I can also access my color swatches from here by clicking on this button. Let's go back to color modes. And you could also type in a value if you know what the value of that color is. So I'm going to click cancel. Uh, so that's basically it. And we'll talk more about this in our next class where you're going to learn how to save a color. And we're going to talk about gradients, the different kinds of fills in um, Illustrator. There's several kinds of fills. We have color swatches, gradient swatches, and pattern swatches. So we'll be looking into those two. Here's a little tip you can use when you're using the color panel here. Say you mix the color with your sliders and you like the color, but you just want it to be a little bit lighter or a little bit darker. Well, you could cheat and just add black or take black out, but if you want to change the mix, well, what I used to have to do, I, I would move these sliders one at a time until I got what I liked, but that usually didn't work out too well. Uh, but with Illustrator, if I hold down the Shift key before I click the mouse button, I can just select any slider, and as I moved one, the rest will move with it. Let, oh, let me select this so you can see what's going on. So if I move these up, it got darker. If I move these down, it kept the same color, but it just made it lighter. And of course you should know, well, CMYK, if I add color, things get darker. RGB is the opposite. RGB, when you add color in RGB, I'm going to hold down the shift your color gets lighter, so that's the way RGB and CMYK work. Okay, so that's my little tip for today.